Hey, salutation! It's David, the AVY. This channel is all about boosting up your knowledge using facts related to the days of the week so you can show off your knowledge with your people. Quite an amazing concept, but I'm not the one saying it. Davy's channel. It's amazing. Thank you very much, Mr. Mad Maker Maddox. Okay, so for the first fact, I'm going to use the green screen to give a Western look. You will understand why. It's your week of facts and it starts now. Today, it's chocolate covered peanuts day. David, David, what? Hello, well, you're filming right now. Oh, sorry, guys, I really have something with chocolate. Um, which day are today? Is a day for gun lovers because. It's on this day in 1836 that Samuel Colt received a patent for the first multi shot revolving cylinder revolver. Oh. Multi shot, huh? It had the sexy name of Colt Patterson. Colt, obviously, for his creator's name, and Patterson because it was being produced in Patterson. No, 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 no! He was as creative as me to find name, that's for sure. I'm Davy. And it's my channel. Welcome to Davy's channel. And that's the bit you can show off with. It's fairly unknown, but... Oh! <laughs> to pay for the development of his ideas, he had learned about laughing gas. He took a portable lab on tour and made a living performing laughing gas demonstration. <laughs> and that's how you laugh. He was even billing himself as the celebrated Dr. Cult of New York, London and Calcutta. <laughs> Having some money saved and not wanting to be a medicine man forever, he went ahead to make his invention. A single fixed barrel design with a rotating cylinder. Are you serious shooting with your fingers like you were five? Hello. <laughs> okay, now let's speak about the internet. Before YouTube, before Google, about the first ever web page, the first ever server, the first ever browser. It all come from one guy, Tim. <sighs> Tim. Tim was working at CERN and he realized that scientists were having difficulties sharing information with each other and he said it himself. Come, tell them. Yeah, in those days there was different information on different computers but you had to log on to different computers to get at it. Okay, we get the point because otherwise he talks, he talks. And in 1989, using a Next computer, which is by the way the first product from Next Company founded by Steve Jobs after leaving Apple in 1985, Tim implemented the first successful communication between a server and an HTTP. Hey, hey. I'm HTTP, we can finally communicate. I'm a server, come here. Uh, we are not physical. Hey! And to support his invention, he also invented HTML, URI, which for most of it is still in use today. And by the end of 1990, the first web page was available on the open internet. It was made to explain his project of World Wide Web. You want to see what the first web page looks like? Don't forget to subscribe though. Here we go. And it's today, the 26th February 1991, that people outside of CERN were invited to join this new web community. So when you think about it, this guy basically invented the web. So what did you invent? Me? Hmm. Uh, two pieces of wood and you can do that. You? The internet. Oh. That is quite a good story to show off your knowledge with people, isn't it? Just show off your knowledge, show them like that. Oh, um, let's speak about heroin. This drug derived from opium mixed with other chemicals is used recreationally for its euphoric effect, but it's also used medically in some countries to relieve pain. You know some European countries even prescribe heroin for treatment of heroin addiction. Doctor, I'm addicted to heroin and I want to stop. Mm. Heroin, you said. Mm. I'm going to prescribe you heroin. What? Felix Hoffman, working at Bayer, was instructed to make something less powerful and less addictive than morphine. And as a good scientist, the result is here. He created something two times more powerful and addictive than morphine. And they called it heroin, which means heroic and strong, obviously related to the way you feel when you take some. So from 1895, it was marketed as a simple over-the-counter drug, but wait, it gets better. Because from 1898 to 1910, it was marketed as a non-addictive morphine substitute and a cough suppressant. <coughs> oh, and doctor, I cough too. Coughing. You'll take some heroin for that too. What? 
And it's today, the 27th February 1900, that Bayer got the patent for aspirin. <laughs> yes, the same team who synthesized heroin also synthesized aspirin. How beautiful. Things just work in life. So nowadays with paracetamol and ibuprofen, aspirin isn't as popular as it used to. But the discovery that it could help to prevent heart attack and strokes made it come back. Your facts are so long. Don't you have anything shorter? Except perhaps a Or you want a quick fact to share, I understand, you have it now. It's on this last day of February in 1935 that nylon was invented. Thank you very much. Nylon was the first commercially successful synthetic polymer. And it was first used commercially in a nylon Bristol toothbrush in 1938. You wanted a quick fact? You have it. Now I'm going to listen to the radio. Hello everyone and welcome to this new radio show. Hello Jessica. Hello David. A feeling of déjà vu here, but anyways, here we are, the 1st of March 1941, and we are making history. It's exciting. Yes, we are the first US commercial FM radio station to go on air. Yes, and probably worldwide too. Oh, but, but let's not go ahead of ourselves, Jessica, with unverified fact. Yeah, it's true. Although it's in 1933 that FM radio was patented by Edwin Armstrong. Really interesting indeed. I'm feeling a bit peckish right now. I wouldn't mind a banana cream pie. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. And if you like what we are doing, hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye -bye. Welcome in the kitchen. Today it's banana cream pie day. I've never had one, never tried one. Well, today is the perfect day to experiment. Just follow me, let's see the ingredients. I already baked the pie crust. So you'll need flour with white sugar. Also have some vanilla extract. You obviously need bananas. It's a banana cream pie for fuck's sake. Not one, not two, not three. Yes, three egg yolk. With the right remaining, you do whatever you want. And you also need milk, which we're going to put on the hob. While the milk is heating, I'm going to do a layer of bananas. When you think about it, how amazing is this video? Because you learn amazing facts. You learn how to make a pastry. You have everything to invite your friends over, make them eat something you made, and show them your impressive knowledge. If that's not worth a subscribe, at least it's worth a banana cream pie. <laughs> the milk is scalding now, so I'm going to add everything. I think it's quite obvious I've never made that. I'm seeing some big ass lump. I want to add some chocolate, some Nesquik, obviously not sponsored. We go back to it when it's cold. Now that it's a bit colder, it's actually quite thick. No, that's not what she said. Pour everything on the pie. Oh, look at this beauty. We'll try it tomorrow as it's the last day of the week. And I obviously finished the pie and it looks quite ugly, but it's not something to look at, it's to eat. So testing time. Mm, messy but amazing. I'd like to thank Dino's video game and Flavia for the subscribe. Obviously, all do like them. See you next week. Ciao. Mm.